Blessings family, blessings, it's Iana, here I am. Um, I'm about to do something a little bit different today. I am about to bridge the two worlds into one. So, I have a podcast family and I have a YouTube family. My YouTube family about to meet my, meet my podcast family. My podcast family, y'all about to meet the YouTube family. So, let me say this really quick before I jump into like the nitty gritty of this, the meat and potatoes of this, the, what's going on here today. So, I've always had a YouTube channel, and I would talk about my YouTube channel from time to time on the podcast, but I stopped doing my YouTube videos, and I started podcasting, and I talked about the podcast like once or twice on a YouTube video or something, but I never went into depth about like what's really going on. So, right now I'm recording, this is audio, so I will put in the description how you could listen to the podcast on Spotify and Apple, and um... For my podcast family, I'll also put in the description how you could watch the video. So let's get into it. So this is my testimony. I'm about to catch us all up to speed. A lot of my my podcast family already know this, but podcast family, hold still. We're going to be all right because I need to get my YouTube family up to date. So if you're looking at this video, you're probably wondering, Yana, what happened to your locks? I cut them off, obviously. Okay, so... um. I started when I started this YouTube channel. I started it as a way to document my journey of having locks. But I always said on the pod, I mean, on the YouTube that I was more than my hair, that I had more to offer than just videos about my hair. And I began to um, do videos about my hair, but then I started also watching other people's videos and started getting involved in spiritualism. I think that's what it's called. That's what I'm gonna call it. Um, which is like of crystals and wearing crystals in my hair and my beliefs started to change and I began to uh, venture into just even think thinking the universe and stuff like that um, my beliefs have completely completely changed over those five years that I have not been recording I think the last time I recorded a video um, I had locks and I think I had a crystal or so in my hair and on different videos I would feature I would talk about a certain type of crystal or whatever. I even was charging crystals. Okay um, And that's why if you look at my channel, you'll see that I took down all the videos because I cannot scan Fine to comb through all those videos and I don't know if my beliefs more than likely my beliefs today does not align with the videos or the things I talked about at that time now, I understand that many of you who subscribe to my channel subscribe because I had locks or you subscribe because I was talking about spiritualism. This may be a good time to be honest with you that you may not be interested in my channel anymore because that's not the direction that I'm in any, at all. Um, over those five years, I went through a whole lot of like a wilderness experience, okay? And it's not any crystal or no universe I could have thanked or prayed to that would have delivered me from the things I was experiencing. And this is my testimony is that this channel is totally being flipped all the way upside down. I'm talking about like legs in the air upside down because I cannot go on acting, you know, I know I built a, a decent amount of followers. I think I have like 800 followers on my YouTube, but I just can't do it no more. And that five years that I wasn't recording, recording, excuse me, so many changes took place in my life. Um, like I said, the biggest is my belief system. I was starting to question if God was real, not if God was real, but is Yahusha, which the world calls Jesus, was the only way. I was really, really questioning that. And like I said, I got into crystals, wearing crystals in my hair, wearing crystals on my neck, wearing them on my, you know, the chakras, all of that type of stuff. And um, y'all, like you may think that when you start tapping into these things that it's just, it's just that, but no, it actually goes into a deeper world than that. And you can get yourself looped and tangled up in stuff that you have no business getting tangled up into, like your third eye, all of that stuff. And, and um, the thing about it is this stuff is real. Um, but I know some of y'all going to get mad at me for this, but I got to say it. But um, the enemy is real, too. And you get caught up in these things thinking that this is light because we've been many of us have been church hurt. So we want to get as far away from the church as possible. But we run into to darkness. We run into darkness. And like I said, I know this is going to get many of you upset. Um, but that's okay. I've, I've prepared myself for 
this this conversation and I'm okay with it either way. I'm not going to hold nobody up if we don't believe on the same thing anymore. I don't have locks no more. Um, I cut them. I know some of you subscribe, like I said, because of that. Um, but it was time. It was time for me to let those locks go. One of the things when I started my locks is that I started it um, in a way running from who I used to be. I was like, you know, I used to be drinking, partying with my friends. And um, I came to a place like I had so much anxiety. And I was just like, God, like, you're going to have to show yourself to me because I feel like I'm spiraling out of control. Like, I can't, you know, do this. I cannot. I had so much hurt. I had so much trauma. I've talked about, or at least I thought I've talked about on this channel, that my dad was incarcerated um, for an extensive amount of time. And how that really brought a lot of trauma to me. Um, I was just searching. I was searching and I remember it was just all these different things was happening in my life. I think I even made a video that I've since taken down. And I think I said something like my life is becoming unmanageable manageable or something like that. And I thought that me holding on to crystals and mantras and um, walking barefoot in the dirt. Or like, you know, all these different spiritual things was going to bring some healing and deliverance and balance to my life. But it made my life even more chaotic. Um, I thought that getting locks was going, you know, it was a really, it was the best decision for me at that time. For sure. I don't regret that at all. Um, but as God really began to bring such deliverance and healing into my life, it just... It was just time to cut off that old woman. I grew in ways that I'm so thankful for that journey because I don't think I, I would not be the woman I am today had I not gone through that. But that season is up. Um, so I've denounced all that stuff, all them crystals, um, that spiritualism. That's not the way or the walk that I'm, I'm in today. Um, this podcast is about walking in your feminine, um, the, who God called us to be as feminine women. Men, fellas, you, you're, you're free to listen, free to join. But this podcast is going in the direction where we serve in the Most High Yah um, and His Son, Yahushua Hamashiach, which the world calls Jesus Christ. I'm not going to make this all long and drawn out. This is more so so that I could correct what I put out there. One thing I've said many times before on this podcast, if you, I mean, this YouTube, if you've been listening to it for some time, is that I don't want to be the noise, that the, the problem. There's a lot of talking out there. There's a lot of misinformation. There's a lot of wrong teaching that's out there. And I don't want to be a part of the problem. So if I was woman enough to get on this uh, World Wide Web and say some inaccurate, in, in era, damaging um, demonic information, then I also need to be woman enough to come stand before you and tell you that I don't believe in none of that stuff no more. Not a thing about what I used to believe in. And I know that um, many of you may unsubscribe, but that's totally fine. I'm at peace with that. Um, I'm rebranding this channel to be the salt in the light because that is what we are called to be as men and women of God. As men and women on this earth, we're we're supposed to be the salt and light. And I know before I get started, maybe my comments, maybe it won't. Um, is that, well, that's the white man's religion or that's a, um, what, what's the other thing? Organized religion and all that other type of stuff is that once you taste and see that God is good and that there's none other like him, then you realize that the, you are truly misguided to believe that there is a crystal or us worshiping our ancestors is the key because it's not it's not and I say that because I too was starting to get into that stuff thinking like you know I mean I started to go down a really a path that just wasn't right that just wasn't right and I'm so grateful that the God I serve is so loving and forgiving and um and brought me back to the light for sure, because I was going down a path that just wasn't right. 
it was not right and it wasn't going to lead to nothing good. Nothing good was going to come out of it. And I say that because I went through some of the, some dark, dark days, some real dark days, like dark, dark days. And it was only, it was only God that brought me through that, y'all. It was only God that brought me through that. And um, I owe Yahuwah my life. I owe him my life because I was having some bad anxiety. I was having some bad just stuff happening in my life. But Elohim, my Yahuwah, my God, my Lord and my Savior is so faithful to me. And I'm going to share this light until I don't have nothing left in me. And um, I don't want to keep this extremely long because it doesn't need to be. I will continue to build upon this as we go forward. I just needed to clear my conscience, clear the air, and um, hit the reset button. Because I have work to do. Um, the Lord revealed to me that I have work to do, as we all do. The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. So it's, it's time to get busy. So um, for my podcast family, you can watch this on the YouTube. For my YouTube family, you can go listen to this on the podcast. This is just the beginning. So now we're bridging the two into one. Um, it's kind of odd because I'm like, <laughs> I wanted to do this in two videos, but I'm just going to make it as simple as possible and just bridge it into one. And then starting next week, we'll just get our uh, podcast uh, audio and video like as one on a real topic even though this is a real topic but um i'm trying to think if there's anything else i need to update on well i guess i'll update my um youtube family that since the time i've been off i got married i'm going on four years married in february i have two children now um i got a second degree since i last seen you all uh started a business um have two properties <laughs> uh, my nonprofit is thriving um so there's a lot of great things going on in my life and i really am excited to share that with you all as time um continues as we continue in our time together but yeah this podcast is awaken woman 2020 like i said i'm yana if this is your first time coming on and watching or listening hello this is a um, platform that we're the salt and the light of the earth. We're spreading the good news of Yahushua Mashiach. We're talking about walking in righteousness. We're talking about um, uh, a relationship with the Most High Yah. Um, we're talking about being feminine women. We're talking about being godly women, mothers and wives, respectful women, being the light in this dark world, making sure that we are... Um, that we show up as the light. Um, that's what this is. You know, I honestly feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders because I originally thought this was going to be really heavy and it was going to be long and drawn out, but that's not what I'm doing today, <laughs> tonight. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up like that. This is just the intro of my testimony. This is bridging my two worlds into one. Because it's time to get back on these YouTube streets. I've been gone for quite some time. But, you know, if you want to know about what's been going on in my life, you can go to the podcast, which I said I'm going to link in the description. So you can get caught up on what's been going on because I'm over there more frequently. But we're about to do this as one. Well. I said that like five or ten times because that is what it is. All right. So I cut my hair off. As you can see, I really like my hair being short. Um. I like the little taper fade in the back, but right now it's not really a taper because I need to get it cut. But yeah, y'all, life is good. Y'all is good. My family's great. My family's thriving. I'm happy, happier than I ever been. Um, and it's just that time. It's just that time where um, I need to be the light. I need to be an example of what I want to see in this world. And I need to fulfill the calling and the purpose on my life, as you do too. So I love y'all. I'm not going to hold y'all up. So until next episode, Salt and Light family, bye.